Well, an absolutely gorgeous day here at Durham and Surrey's final game in this year's Specsavers County Championship. Named a squad of 14 yesterday, Jason Roy back from England duty and Zafar Ansari recovering from his back injury and named in a championship squad for the first time in a couple of games. So still a lot to play for over these next four days, even though it is the final game of the season and Mark Wood and Ben Stokes both in that Durham squad. So day one here at the Emirates Riverside and as always, you'll miss none of the action here on Surrey TV. A record-breaking double hundred from Keaton Jennings gave Durham the upper hand on day one against Surrey. Durham hosted Surrey, needing a win to lift themselves out of relegation danger. Surrey were the only side without a chance of either lifting the trophy or being relegated, and they were asked to field by Durham, who won the toss and chose to bat. Openers Stoneman and Jennings got the hosts off to a strong start, with Stoneman sending the second ball of the day to the boundary. Stoneman found the boundary again in the second over, but he was given a life when keeper Folks put down a tough chance off Tom Curran. Jennings got off the mark with a boundary off Sam Curran in the fourth over, but he lost partner Stoneman with the score on 35, caught behind off Mika for 20. Borthwick and Jennings put on 70 for the second wicket before Borthwick was trapped LBW for 38 by a delivery from Tom Curran that kept low. Jennings continued to find the fence in the afternoon session and he went past 50 but he lost partner Burnham with the score on 128, called by Tom Curran off Mika for 15. That brought England all-rounder Stokes to the crease and he started his innings in typically aggressive style, taking boundaries off both Mika and Footit. Stokes had made 24 a better than a runner ball when he lost his off stump to Footit. Collingwood was the new man in and he got his innings going with a boundary off Mika. But it was Jennings who was carrying the innings for Durham as he continued to bat in a class of his own. Collingwood departed for 14, caught by Sibley when chasing a wide one from Footit. But Jennings continued his march towards 100, a milestone that he brought up with a reverse sweep off Ansari. It was the seventh century that the Durham opener has hit this season, breaking the record for most hundreds in a season for Durham that he previously shared with Paul Collingwood and Michael DiVenuto. Whilst Jennings continued to occupy one end, the wickets continued to fall at the other with Clark out, caught Tom Curran off foot it for a duck. And then Pointer was out two overs later, caught by Roy off foot it, also without scoring. Jennings nearly lost his wicket shortly after the tea break when Sangakara put down a difficult chance off footed, but Jennings was undeterred and he pressed on with good support from new partner Cass. Jennings went to 150 with a single off Ansari as his partnership with Cass reached 79. Cass had made 32 when he was caught by Burns off the bowling of Curran. Jennings continued to pile on the runs and he was getting good support from the tail with Wood also sticking around. When Wood was the ninth man out, caught Roy off Mika for 28, Jennings was on 186 with only one wicket left and just four overs remaining in the day. Onions played his part by surviving at the other end and Jennings brought up his double century off the last ball of the day when he sent Mika to the boundary. Durham then finished the day on 393 for nine, thanks mostly to that sensational knock from Jennings. The Durham opener is now Division One's leading run scorer by some distance, and a record-breaking seventh century of the season and a second double hundred pushes his average for the summer above 70. Footick continued his good form by picking up four wickets, but it was Durham and Jennings' day, and they'll look to add further runs early on day two in their bid to pick up some valuable extra batting points. Uh, that's been a long day, but I think you have to give a lot of credit to the way Keaton Jennings batted. Outstanding knock from him, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, definitely. I mean, to get 200 in a day is, is brilliant, whatever. Even even though we're probably gifted him a few runs with the 
a bit short and wide, but yeah, he's, he's batted well and he didn't give him much chances. It was almost like he was playing a, a different game at times, wasn't it? Yeah, definitely, because there was a little bit there if you put it in the right areas. I mean, we just didn't do it enough, um, as, as of last week and the same this week. Um, but, you know, he still batted well and, like I said, he didn't give many chances.